it is time for This Is My Bolo. Stay tuned for details on how you can participate in the next video. Everyone is invited to share a bolo and shout out their YouTube channel or their eBay store. And again, more details to follow. I sold this puzzle for... Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. It is time for This Is My Bolo. This is one of my favorite videos. It's where I invite my featured members to send me a 60 second video of a bolo they sold, an item to be on the lookout for, an item that they picked up cheap and sold for a great profit. This can be a big money bolo or an unexpected bolo, maybe something we wouldn't expect to be looking for. So I'm gonna start by showing you mine. And I sold this puzzle for $300. And it is a Springbok puzzle. And it originally was $7. It's considered a king size. And it's a thousand pieces. The buyer was all in for $332.37 with tax and shipping. I got that offer in less than a week. So this sold really, really fast. I picked this up at an estate clean out. Um, I purchased a whole car full of stuff for one price. So my cost of goods for this was very, very low. Um, it was definitely a nice surprise. I had no idea it was gonna be worth so much, but anytime you can find big puzzles, like this is a thousand pieces and vintage, still sealed. It does have um, some areas where the, the seal is broken. I just disclosed that in the listing. And this is definitely a big money bolo. This is called the Christmas House. I am going to share with you some more bolos, but I'm not actually doing the sharing. My featured members are gonna come on and do a 60 second video telling you exactly what I just showed you. Okay, I'm gonna explain how this works and then we are gonna go right into a bunch of big money bolos from my featured members. Oh my goodness, wait until you see these. Okay, so if you would like to participate in the next This Is My Bolo, I need your video by the end of August. The end of this month, guys. I need a 60 second or less video in landscape format, and you're gonna see a bunch of examples. You're gonna show me the bolo, either hold it up or pop up a screenshot, and you're gonna tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. And make sure if you have a YouTube channel that you shout that out, or if you don't have a YouTube channel, you are still welcome to participate. You can shout out your eBay store. So I'm excited to see all your bolos. You can send those to me on Instagram Messenger or Facebook Messenger. And again, get those in by the end of August. Bolos you're about to see are from my featured members. They will all be linked down in the description with their YouTube channels and their eBay stores. Uh, definitely go and sub them up. They are big money bolo finders with tons of awesome reseller content. Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel. You can find me on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and whatnot and everywhere as a rural squirrel. The next bolo that I want to share with you <laughs> blows my mind. <laughs> These. This is a pair of vintage undies. Little sheer panties that are made in the U.S. and they're union made. But these undies... <laughs> I sold for $89.99. That is a full price sale and they were listed less than an hour. These little guys <laughs> sold super quickly. So be on the lookout for vintage undies. Thanks Courtney for putting this together. I can't wait to see what other bolos everybody else has got. Hi, my name is Terry. I go by the name Mindful Recycle on my YouTube channel and in my eBay store. Today's bolo is this very large atlas. I purchased five of these from an estate sale this past weekend, and I paid $5 each for them. Ran the comps while I was there and was shocked. I listed my first one for $475, and it sold within 24 hours. I listed my second one for $599. It also sold within 24 hours. Getting ready to list my third one. We'll see what happens. So keep your eyes open for the books. It seems like whenever I go to estate sales, people aren't going for the books. 
and I always seem to find treasures over in the books. So go find your bolo. Thank you, Courtney. Hey y'all, it's Rhonda from Got Junk in Our Trunk, and today I have a bolo for you. We know as resellers that we always want to look for Rushton, especially if we've dealt in plush very much. We usually see like Santa Clauses. There's some of the um, different type of animals that we'll find. Well, today I have one that you probably haven't found, at least in this condition. I found Daisy the cow. She's kind of a little bit harder to find, but in this condition, you usually don't see her this moth-eating. <laughs> I bought her at a yard sale. I ended up paying $2 for this thing, and here's what she sold for. You always want to look for the Rushton. That's your bolo for today. Happy junkin'. Hello, my name is Cindy. I'm the owner of the Wear Pig Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. We are a farm animal rescue here, and to help us pay the bills, we actually sell things on eBay. Things that we purchase at uh, auctions, I purchase storage units, and then some things we have donated. My uh, bolo this month was a uh, uh, very unexpected. Expected. A lot of times when I get things in, I'll throw the smalls into a box or into baggies, set them to the side, try to list my bigger things first, get them out of the way. Anyway, I ran across this, a little poker chip. Now, I had seen on other Bolo videos where poker chips could go for pretty decent money. I looked this one up, couldn't find it on eBay, found it on Worth Point. The last one sold for over $300. Threw mine up for auction, and boom, it sold for over $400 to a collector. So keep your eyes open for uh, these poker chips. Hey everybody, this is Matt. I go by MSG's Treasures both on eBay and YouTube. I just want to thank Courtney for doing these videos. They're really cool. I have a monster of a sale to show you. Here we go. After struggling to find a good bolo for this video, all these sold for me over the weekend. I haven't had any home run sales in a, quite a few weeks. And here we go. The planes are all Franklin Mint. You see prices on the screen. And these two tanks here are King and Country and Fagardi Miniatures. Fagardi and King and Country is a pretty rare bolo. I've only found those the one time in four years of doing this full time. Never even heard of the brand. Uh, Franklin Mint is more easier to find. Uh, any die cast with Franklin Mint, if you can get it cheap enough, buy them. I'm Danielle here at Yard Sales and Dreams, and this is my bolo. This item is actually getting shipped out. I sold this sweater for $90, and I picked it up for $1. How much are your sweaters? About a dollar on that one. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I bought that for an ugly Christmas sweater. Did you? All right, you guys, so this sweater sold for $90, and if you guys are not familiar with this kind of sweater, this is a Kugi look-alike. It's called a Bouchy, I believe but there's very many brands out there that make a sweater that look like a Kugi or Kuji, however you wanna pronounce it. These lookalikes, the fakes, do sell anyway, so you just have to disclose that it has a different tag. And this one, I believe I said it already, Bouchy, B-A-U-C-C-I, I think, something like that. But anyway, it sold for 90 bucks, so, and I paid a dollar. Hey guys, my name is Tanya, and I'm just a girl out here making a living thrifting. And today's bolo is an empty box. That's right, this G.I. Joe empty box. I went to an estate sale, I picked this up. It had a price tag of $30 on there. It did come with a G.I. Joe inside. However, the G.I. Joe is not the Marine G.I. Joe. So I split the two up and I ended up listing this box all by itself for $137 with free shipping. The box is not perfect. It actually has several flaws to it. Some of the glue is bad. Some of the tape has come off right here, which I made sure to show all of that in my listing. And I still ended up selling this within 30 minutes of posting it. It is a 1964 G.I. Joe Marine. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everybody that's watching. I'm Yvonne, Mom Knows Treasures. My bolo that I wanted to share was uh, a Made in Italy duvet cover. I sold it for $225. And if you haven't 
started yet. I would highly recommend selling linens. I've sold quilts. I've sold vintage sheets. I've sold um, sheet sets, um, blankets, San Marcos blankets. All these things sell. People will buy them new and used. Um, this one was sold for $225, but they uh, run the gamut. If you can find linens at a good price, pick them up. Okay, thanks everybody and good luck out there sourcing. Bye. Hey everyone, Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures and this is my bolo. It is this Daru leather rhinoceros from Germany made in the 1960s. And if you haven't heard of it, I don't feel bad. I hadn't either. I was going through some stuff from an estate that I bought out probably two or three years ago. Had a few boxes left over in my garage and I was going to either take stuff to the dump or to the thrift shop. Happened to see a name on this, looked it up, and boy, was I surprised. I listed it on eBay, and within a couple of hours, it sold for the full asking price of $110. So if you have stuff in your garage that you haven't looked up, make sure you're uh, looking up comps. Uh, don't just uh, assume that something's not worth anything based on the way it looks, because I certainly didn't think this hollow piece of leather would be worth $110, but it was. So hope you enjoyed and everyone have a great day. I want to introduce myself. My name is Abigail. I have a YouTube channel. It is Abigail's Artful Abode, and I own a vintage and antique store. I have two antique booths in Seattle, Washington, and I sell on all, almost all of the major platforms. Today, I want to share my bolo. I don't know a thing about cameras, but they're very easy to research. Um, I picked this up. It was these lenses. I think there was um, four of them. They were in a box. I paid a dollar for the whole box. So I may be into them like maybe 25 cents a piece. We listed them for $50 a piece. Within a couple days, we got an offer from one buyer who wanted all four, and we took the offer of $160. So I have to say, that was a great bolo. Sometimes cameras and camera accessories are, are bread and butter. Sometimes they are bolos. Hey guys, this is Seaver from Lake Threads, and this is my bolo. Uh, it is an ermine needlepoint tapestry, Noah's Ark cushion. Um, I picked up three of these and the state sale for $20. Uh, and it sold all three of them within just a couple hours. And they sold for $59.99 and $69.99. Um, they are artist design, huge bolo. Uh, if you haven't seen these before, definitely worth looking up. And uh, thank you, Courtney. Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I am doing This Is My Bolo. I start all of my listings on eBay, but I do cross list to several platforms, Etsy is being one, and this item sold on Etsy for me. This is a Sanrio Peckle Duck Nylon Plush 13 inch from 1995 and it sold for $47.45. Sanrio is a brand that you really should be looking out for, but especially when it's just not Hello Kitty, it's other characters. Um, and I actually had to use Google Lens to figure out who this was, but also plush that is made of this nylon or parachute material. Definitely check your comps. Again, I want to thank Courtney for all that she does for those of us um, who are trying to make YouTube videos, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thanks. Bye. Hi guys, Farm Girl Scavenger here. It is hotter than uh, the blazes here in Southwest Washington. We are at 96 degrees today. And I wanted to show you something that I think you should be on the lookout for. Also know that because of the fact that most people price these at $19.95 or less, you're going to have to sit on it for a little while. But I want you to understand you need to know the worth of your item and you need to price it at what it's worth and sit on it. 
Otherwise, you're bringing the market down not only on a collectible, but you're bringing the market down on something that there aren't a lot of out there. So um, I purchased this in January in L.A. when my grandson and I went down to L.A. to visit his dad. I went to the L.A. flea market with <clears throat> Jenny from Spruce and Gussie's, Gussied, and I saw this across the way and I paid $10 for it. It is a vintage 1950s Gilner California Pottery Pixie Ware Happy People Boot Planter and they're hard to find and you'll see a lot of people with this these pixie these Gilner pixie items priced at 19.95, 20.95, 9.95 and it just blows my mind. I priced this high at $129.99. I got a lot of giggles and grief from people, and I held on. Now, did I think I was going to sell it at $129? I don't know. You never know. There may be that one person. I got an offer last night for $75, and I took it. This is shipping out today for $104.50 all in. I hope that helps you, and know your worth. Know your item's worth, and let's quit bringing down the market on collectibles. Thanks. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Hi, it's Rhonda from Got Junk in Our Trunk, and I have a bolo for you today. When I was a kid, we used to have door-to-door -door salesmen that would come around selling health and beauty aids, vacuum cleaners, and such. And my mom uh, typically didn't buy a whole lot of things uh, when people would come to the door, but when the Stanley person would come by, she would usually get um, some of their products for hair and things like that. Well, when I was about, probably about six or seven years old, maybe eight, um, we needed new brushes, and so mom bought my sister and I brushes. And this was my brush when I was a little kid. It is a Stanley brush. As you can see, this is like a plastic acrylic type handle, nylon here, and of course it's been used and all of that. This actually is a bolo. It's kind of like the Goody brand. If you look for the Stanley, you can usually sell their products pretty well too. Here's what this sold for. So keep your eye out for things like this. Don't pass them by. Happy junkin'. Thank you all so much for being here. I am going to include links to all of these channels, all of their eBay stores down in the description of the video. Please take a minute to go and subscribe to these channels and check out their eBay stores. They are all amazing bolo finders. Thank you to everyone that participated. And again, I'm gonna open this up to anyone that would like to participate. Please just send me a 60 second or less video similar to the ones you saw in this video. You tell me where you got the item, what you paid for it, and what it sold for, and I will feature it in a video. So if you can get those to me over on Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger by the end of August, I will get those videos put out in September. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to also subscribe to my channels. I have three of them. Bolo Buddies, which is where you are now, and I also have Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and I also have Reseller Testing Bolo Products. I would love for you to subscribe to all. They are all linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching.